Hi Libra, my name is Liana from Superconscious Soul and this is your December love reading. So underneath the deck we have the Knave of Wands and he has this fire inside him, he has this passion inside him, it's almost like he's a phoenix rising from inside himself. It's like he has this lust for um, hidden knowledge, for mysterious relationships for um, the intangible he has this lust for the hidden realms for wanting one in a relationship that is full of magic full of mystery wanting to be connected to that kind of part of themselves and it's almost like they're, they're saying to themselves no I must keep it hidden because my friends will be like what and then it could be like twin flame energy you've discovered or soulmate energy or there's this sudden passion for the hidden realms but it's also to do with the super moon in Gemini it's kind of making us all access the realms in different ways so that is almost like your superpower yeah so the next card under the deck is take a moment stop now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make i'm sure aries got this too so before this important decision is made take a moment to pause and quiet in your mind so that you can ask for your soul for guidance before you act or move forward now it was leo actually that got that as well so if you're cross watching Leo got the same card about taking some time before they make a decision. Okay, so next we have the Ten of Wands. And in this deck, it's almost feeling like you're tied to a certain aspect of yourself or you're, you're, not, you're not allowed to be anything different. You've kind of, he's got this guy, like we have this, we have this statue and it's made of a peasant guy and he's a worker. Now we don't really make statues of the peasant guy so it's like he's almost stuck. He feels like he's stuck in a certain stage of life that he can't escape from. So not necessarily that he's a peasant or he's a worker but it's to relate that to your life. There's an area of your life where you feel like you're stuck within within a certain aspect of it and no you can't get away from that and it's almost like you're carrying the pressure of that so then we have the five of pentacles and this talks about feeling remorse feeling guilt feeling some shame in a situation or feeling like um, we could have done something different within a situation, Some feeling like we could have made something better, feeling like we could have done something slightly different regarding a situation in terms of love. So, but we have the magician, and the magician is finding that magic again, it's seeing that magic in life again, it's seeing that magic within relationships again, it's realising that the magic can be found there again, it's, a, it's bypassing these these um feelings but not bypassing them i'll tell you how we can kind of work those in in a second but it's having all, everything that, having your your power at your disposal and not realizing how much magic there is and wanting to connect more with that magic so we then have soul power Always remember, you are a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. So yeah, it's not allowing certain energy or certain situations within relationships to drain you as well. It's about knowing that you have you have the power within your control in any given situation. You have the power. Um, once you've forgiven something or once you, you've um, forgiven yourself for something, it's about them moving on from that and regaining that power and not staying in a certain phase of a relationship or a certain phase of anger or a certain phase of um, feeling like you have to fit into that phase of your life and not feeling like you can grow because it's saying you have the power. So then we have the queen of pentacles and she is underneath the ten of wands so this is feeling like we're giving too much of ourselves that it's keeping us in a stasis it's keeping us in a place don't give too much she know this queen knows that in, that 
she can she to give is to create abundance for ourselves but if we over give from a place of that we don't have then it becomes then it it drains our resources and everything becomes a little bit old a little bit um antique looking it's like it's draining the life out of it so then we have in the center of the reading we have the sun this is a good card but it's saying that it, there's a good energy and there's a, and things are fine but it's just asking you to w watch for the future in this card just to make sure that you you're making plans for the future because if you can see we have these two guards on the horizon so it's just no one minute it's just to have time to keep an eye out for things that are happening in your in around you just to keep an open mind and it's saying that if you're thinking about a situation it's saying that your perception of a situation is accurate so then we have the three of wands this is good because this is about your energy moving forward now and it's moving forward from a place of groundedness because this king here this um knight sorry no, the three of um, wands, sorry. He is very grounded. He's very grounded, but he's also ready to move. He has this energy to move. And it's about what do you want to move into. But it's about getting yourself very grounded first. Taking this moment to ground yourself, to stabilize yourself before you move forward with this energy. A way to ground yourself and a way to also have self-care for the Queen of Pentacles is through nature. And it says, this is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. So, it is very much about you guys nurturing yourself this month. You need to put into yourself in order to give out. That is where you can get your power from. It's saying you have this soul power at your disposal. You also have nature at your disposal. So, the final row is the lover's card. And this talks about this gateway. And it talks about Gemini, Sagittarius. And it talks about, for you guys, this gateway is about these elements. And it's about working what element, and working out what elements are working together to create alchemy within your relationship. And what elements are kind of grating against each other. And what you can do about that. Breaking it down to two elements is is one of you more fiery in one area more and more um argumentative like air in another or it, it's about breaking down your relationship into the elements and keeping it um it's also about alchemy created once you come together and there is that want for something more passionate something bigger that kind of brings about this can you see the same kind of fire there it's bringing that energy to the relationship we then have the knight of pentacles and this is underneath this the five of pentacles and then this so this card where you're seeing the situation accurately there is some kind of it could be a loss it could be a betrayal it could be a sense of grief remorse feeling like you've done something forgive yourself forgive them and move on because this night is also talking about feeling like you've took a wrong path feeling like you have done something wrong feeling like um you could have done something a bit differently. He's feeling forlorn about his journey and he's a slow night anyway, so now he's moving even slower. He's just like, oh, I can't go on. So it's just asking you to just take a deep breath and realize that you haven't done nothing wrong. We then have the Three of Pentacles, which is saying that to celebrate what you have done and to celebrate what you have achieved and to be part of a community and to get out there in society because that is where your healing is going to come from this month. It's not about moping inside. It's about getting outside and remembering who you are. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Remembering who you are and having fun because your final card is 
be proud and it says it's time to celebrate all you've achieved all that you are and all that you will become every once in a while it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud so pat yourself on the shoulder libra and know that you can't take on the responsibility of the world because it kind of puts you in this frozen place it puts you in this place of feeling like you have to be that for them or you have to be this for them and i feel like you want that freedom from restriction you want that freedom from um you want to find that magic again you want to find this you want to find this side of you again. It's like you're open to to new things. You're here. You're ready. You're to go. You're balanced. You have this yin and yang energy. You ground yourself. And then from the point that you ground yourself, it's like, yeah, it becomes part of your healing. So connect with nature, your soul power, and be proud of yourself this month. Take care, Libra. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.